Hi, thank you for tuning in. My name is Rachel and I am here live on my news desk because breaking news, you are the closest one to this. I have been covering this story in depth. Here's what just happened on Robert Tonner's website. Robert has released the collection of Elowen Wild dolls plus their stories right now on his website. We get to read all of Elowen's stories. We get to see the full collection. We get to see the fashion. And this is the first time we have had an update in Elowen's story in a very long time. And it is happening right now. He literally just pressed the button and we are here for it. There is a link in this video right now on Robert Tonner Design, right now. Open it up everybody because that is what is happening. It's live. It's officially out there. Elowen Wild is back into the wild. We get to see what is going on right now. So breaking news, this is happening right now. I did not read any of this before coming on this news channel to, to share this news with you. We are going to experience it and read it right now. So when you click the new Elowen Wild tab on Robert's website, the first doll that we see is Pedal Pusher. And it says, Rufus wanted us to meet an acquaintance for dinner. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to go, social anxiety and all, but I've heard wonderful things about his friend Nima. He planned a quiet meal at this little place outside the city. It was one of those hot nights, but he wanted us to dress, so I wore a black organza dress that I love. It is all covered with huge embroidered flowers. Maybe it was too much, but I love flowers. I guess you could say I'm a petal pusher. By the way, Nima was delightful. Here's an insider tip. We're gonna meet Nima sometime this year. So that's Pedal Pusher. That's Pedal Pusher right there. And Elowen's own words, she wore it out to dinner with Rufus where she met her good friend, her new friend, Nima. Next is Puff Peace. Puff Peace. It is a gorgeous blonde doll. This is an emergency. This is an emergency. Now, I really appreciate you being on here with me right now, but as soon as you get off, you can, you can read the stories and you can see all of the pictures right on Robert's website. There is an Elowen Wild tab and it's in the video. So here what he, here's what Elowen has to say about Puff Piece, which is the beautiful pink organza dress. I've always loved the late afternoon light at Morton Hall. We stopped there on the way home from Nima's art opening. Lisette did my hair that afternoon and added a hat. You know how much she loves hats. And I love it with this dress. This dress has always been my favorite. The silky texture with the embroidery and the slightly raised waist. The fun part, however, is the slip. It's kind of a surprise. It's called a kind of a puff piece. I wore jewelry from my grandmother. It reminds me of the stained glass in the hall. Oh my goodness. So Puff Peace has rooted hair. It's hard to see on my computer, but open up your computer right now and, and read along with me so that you can see the beautiful photos along with me and read the story. So there is Puff Peace right there. Hard to see, but I'm, I, it, there's a glare, but I'm showing you right there so you can see it. She has beautiful blue eyes too. Okay. Oh, look at the green one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Taking shape is the next doll. Here's what Elowen has to say. One of the places I miss most while I was away was Botanical Gardens. They opened up a new wing just for the orchids. It was awesome. Their flower pavilion is really taking shape. But of course, as you know, my favorite spot at the gardens is the trellis right off of the bookstore. 
Lisette took this shot of me in my pale moss green brocade dress with cape sleeves. It was perfect with my new open front boots and embroidered cropped tights. Have you seen this one? Have you seen this one? Look at her green outfit with the crop tights and the open toed boots. OMG, what do you think of that one? That is taking shape, obsessed. Okay, here we go. Here's, here is Baby Doll Basic in blonde. Right here, you can see her baby doll dress. So cute, so pretty. These ones are wigged. Here we go. I had a couple of hours to relax before my Zoom class. I was all ready, but Sybil stuck her claws into my tea and destroyed it, so I had to change. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with that cat. I made this dress before the trip as a nice summer dress, but I cut the hem too short, so I didn't know what to do with it. So I was trying to figure out what to wear, and I threw it on and I really liked it. I wouldn't wear it out, but basically it looks like an old-fashioned baby doll pajama. It's very comfortable when no one can see how short it is on Zoom. Yes! This baby doll basic, so cute, comes with brown hair as well. There are two baby doll basics. Perfect for Zoom calls. Perfect for Zoom calls. Okay, let's see what else there is. This next outfit is called Turning Heads, and it's my favorite. Turning Heads. I mean, when you see the pictures, look at the boots. Look at the boots. They are the same fabric as the skirt. Absolutely obsessed. I am so obsessed. Okay, here, here's what it says. I was feeling a bit moody due to my brother Freddy's latest adventure. I, diced, I decided to take a walk. Lost in thought, I found myself an hour later in the old warehouse and part of the city, in the old warehouse part of the city. I had been down that way, and I hadn't been down that way in quite some time. It looks great. The buildings are mostly restored and the shopping is amazing. I am glad I was dressed for it. I wore my embroidered cardigan over a sleeveless bow tank and my favorite, my tweed skirt with matching high boots. A sweet lady that I had never met before said to me that I was definitely turning heads. That certainly helped change my mood. That's the turning heads outfit. That is an outfit. This is an outfit that you can purchase for your doll. So this, this does not come on a doll. This is an outfit. The turning heads outfit. Oh my gosh. It is so good. That sweater, that embroidered sweater, what do you think of this? Okay, this is, this, is, this is a focus group right now. We are focusing together and talking about this. Breaking news that is happening right now in the doll world. The bow at the neck. The bracelets, the jewelry. Let me know what you think. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, now pants. I wear pants. I love pants. I think pants can be so incredibly stylish. Look at this pant suit, this pant outfit for Elowen. I love this. It's called Taking Shape. Let's see what it says. Every once in a while, I need to feel an ocean breeze, and Wednesday was one of those days. Prudence said she'd meet me, but at the last minute she had to cancel. That's okay, it was just nice to be down there. Rufus often says, it's my boardwalk, but I like it. I wore navy and white for a bit of a nautical feel. Pants, of course, but also my new white blouse with the most wonderful sleeves. I know better than to wear heels on the boardwalk, but I wasn't thinking and wore them anyway. I had a little crop jacket and a few pearls and I was set to go. My spirit started to lift as the sun started to go down. That day, the day was taking shape. Oh my gosh. What do you think of taking shape? It is so 
hard to choose, but the purple flowers on the hat and on the neck jacket. Look at those bell sleeves. Look at the embroidery. Is that embroidery? No, that's lace on the bell sleeves. I can't. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So go enjoy. Go to Robert's website. There is a link in this video. It's robertonnerdesign.com. And if you click the Elowin tab, you will see the full release, all the photos. You can read the stories. There is an update coming from her therapist soon. It's not quite ready to be released yet, but it's coming. So, are you in? Are you in? Do we love her? We love her. We're in. Am I right? The moment we've been waiting for. So now, share the photos. Put them on your vision boards. Get ready to rumble. I am ready to rumble. Oh, and you know what I even did? Because I knew this. I knew this was going to be overwhelming. Is I got chocolate and, 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 and a Diet Coke so I can calm down from this. Mm. Get out your chocolate. Get out your martinis. Get out whatever it is that you get out to center yourself after, you know, something like this. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Will there be any confusion placing an order with the Taking Shape doll as there's an outfit with the same name? Oh, that, that'll be, that'll be fixed. That, that'll be fixed. We're going to chat with Robert right after this video. So we'll, we'll, we're going to fix that. I, I noticed that I was, as I was reading it, but it's, it's all good. We're going to fix that. The, uh, the, the pantsuit, I believe, is called um, FaceTime. I believe that's the FaceTime outfit. So well, it, it'll be fixed in just a minute. So this is good. Okay, Heather has a cupcake and a diet and a Dr. Pepper. You go, girl. Uh, Catherine has chocolate. What, what, do, what do you have? What do you have? Yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and do the chocolate. I might even need a s'more after this, to be honest with you. The, everybody, the dolls will be available at the, during, during the Elowin, during our Elowin night at the virtual doll convention. So we are going to have, in addition to our, of course, our incredible sales room of all kinds of amazing dealers, our over 20 programs that we have scheduled, we're going to have an Elowin shopping experience. So right before the Elowin experience, we're going to have an incredible program from a wonderful collector in Indiana that has awesome Elowin dolls. I think she has over 300 Elowin dolls. Her name is Nicole. She is so cool. She is a doctor for a living and she has one of the most amazing doll collections ever. It has all kinds of dolls, but over 300 Elowins. So we're going to talk about that. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. So this collection is wonderful as I think we can all agree. Let me know what you're what you're having to calm down from this. We are uh, we we will not have wigs for sale right now. We have we have the three dress dolls with the rooted hair, the two baby doll basic dolls, and the two outfits. I believe. Let me just look at my emails real quick, and we'll get it. We'll get we'll get that one fixed. But I believe the pantsuit outfit is called FaceTime. But Robert, Robert will figure, figure it all out. I mean, by the time we have our lunch, we're going to have all the, all the names and everything straight. So, uh, Star said, love Elowin, but wondering if Grace will be left by the roadside now. Uh, good question. And the answer to that is absolutely not. This is a launch. This is a doll launch. This is very exciting. This is Robert's doll. Am I forgetting about Grace? No, we just launched Club Grace. I have a, a neon sign on my wall. Grace is my doll and I get to control her story and her narrative. And she is just one of the best things that has ever happened to me. Um, Elowin is Robert's doll. And the virtual doll convention is getting her back into the world. She's not my doll. We're, th this, is, this is Robert's story. This is his doll. So no. It, it, am, I, am I shifting gears and, and going from one thing to another? No, but I, I, can, um, 
have multiple dolls and lo lots of wonderful launches at the same time. So uh, I hope that makes you feel better. But no, this is just what's happening right now. And this is a big deal. We've got Elowin coming back to market. We have in big plans uh, for Grace. I mean, my gosh, we've almost, I mean, we've sold her out every, every single time. Plus we just launched her club. So on Monday, after we launch the virtual convention, we will be launching her Grace's update for March. And she is going to Dublin for the Dublin fashion show. So heck no. And I hope you, I know you guys, I know you understand that. I mean, uh, here, here, here's my goal. Like we have Elowin, we have Grace. What if we had more? What if we had more dolls? It's kind of like having more kids. You just expand and you make room for more. You don't just forget about, you know, or like I have two English bulldogs. And when Murray was alive, did I care about one or the other? No, we just, you made room for them all. So, oh yeah, chocolate. Oh yeah, glitter nails. You know what? This is, this is fun. This is so fun. Is this fun? Oh yeah. Grace loves networking. Grace loves, if there's one thing that Grace, I mean, Grace is a, she, she's a modern girl and she is all about, she knows how in life, just the power of networking and making friends and, um, expanding your network and welcoming more people and more to new places and more talents that don't that only expands your world so i am excited i am i am so excited so for all of my grace girls and grace was made to bring so many of us excitement and hope and adventure back into our hearts and homes and that's exactly what she did uh, and continues to do grace's face sculpt is one of the most iconic beautiful grace sculpts that robert has ever done and the fact that we were able to do that with her and that we are continuing to do that with her there was only so much more to come for her story and so much more to come for elowen's story and I can only hope through through your for, through our partnership and our involvement together, you and me, is that we can cr we can continue to expand all of their stories, and and do and do more across the board for for all kinds of dolls. Because there's so many, there's so much for us to discover and to enjoy and to learn about and to have fun with. So, you know, for me, when Robert's like hey, Rachel, I got a new doll. I'm not like, you know, I'm good with Grace. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with Elowen. We're done. We're done here. No. I'm like, bring them on down. I just say, bring them on down, Robert. You just send them on over to Denver. We'll take care of them. We'll get them where they need to go. Whatever you want to create, we'll get them where they need to go. And we are so excited for everything. So yeah, we love Grace. We love Elowen. We love, I, I love all of the other characters. I love when we went to Ryan Anderson's house and we saw all of his amazing dolls. I love all of his American model dolls. I mean, it's like, bring it on, bring it on. I want them all. I would send send all the dolls in the world down to me. Send them all down to me, and I'll and I'll I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it because I am working with people that feel the same as me. And and when I say people, I mean you. You feel the same as me. You're you're like you know bring it on. I want I want more experiences. I want more fashion in my life. I want more fun. I want more dolls. I want more stories. I want more. So, I mean, you and I are like twin flames in that. We're, we're twin flames, you know, bring it on. So these Elowin dolls are currently on their way to us in Denver, Colorado. 
We have this, this collection that is just on Robert's website. This is exclusive to the virtual doll convention and this doll will be offered at the virtual doll convention to registered attendees. We have a tip jar registration that is opening on Monday. With the tip jar, no matter what you contribute financially to your registration, you can contribute as much as $5 and receive everything for the event. You can contribute as much as $50, depending on what your circumstances are and what you feel most comfortable with. All of the money from the registration goes back to the virtual doll convention and our activities and our lights that we have and you know all and and the people that work here that are gonna that are gonna be working very hard for you our travel all kinds of things you know it just it goes back to that that's where the money goes and i mean it's gonna go towards the yellow and dolls you know it's, it's all going back so so whatever you feel comfortable with is what you can do to register in my opinion in my opinion and i have a lot of experience with this any single one of our programs is worth the highest level of monetary input to watch. And so for, for this event, the highest level is $50. If you want to join us at the highest level for $50. In my opinion, every single one of our programs is easily a value of $50. We are going to have workshops. We are going to have collection tours. We are going to have doll repair and care, teddy bear repair and care. We are going to see some of the most incredible dolls and, and private doll collections that are, that are out there. We are going to have so much fun. And so, and, and in addition, we will have dolls for sale and shopping. So, you know, there's no better place to be than the virtual doll convention if you are a doll or teddy bear collector. We are on the forefront of breaking news entertainment, bringing you the, the goods. We bring you the goods. We are your dealer. We are your dealer, except we're dealing in dolls and we're bringing them to you. And we are sharing our, you know, we, we've got a fresh stash. That's, that's what's happened. We have a fresh stash. We are literally meeting you in an alleyway, opening up our, our coats. And for this event, they're gonna be full of Elowen dolls. So you know that old thing that happened in the old movies where they're like, you wanna buy a watch? This time, I'm gonna be in the dark alley, but with a really fabulous designer jacket or coat. And I'm gonna open it up and it's gonna be like, do you wanna buy an Elowen? So, meet me this Monday at 10 o'clock mountain standard time for the official opening of the registration of the virtual doll convention shoot for the stars event as soon as you register you will get a link to everything that you will need to to participate in the event you do not have to be on facebook you can participate through youtube and through facebook and every single day during the event and leading up to the event you will have all the links and all of the things to fully participate in every single thing for the event. The event is in Mountain Standard Time because I am in Mountain Standard Time and I will be here during the event. And so there is a time zone calculator right on the schedule. You will have a schedule so you'll know exactly when everything happens. And all you have to do is figure out what time it's happening for you. You might be two hours ahead. You might be two hours up behind, 12 hours, you know, depending on where you are in the country and in the world. You'll be able to figure it out very easily because you know why? This is what I do. I am an expert in producing and delivering virtual doll conventions. This is our seventh convention. We have been doing this professionally and in, in the last two years of doing this professionally, I have learned so much. Every single event we do it better and, and figure out a way to, to bring it to you different and, and, and better in the way that we are presenting it better. I, I've learned so much about how to do this. And this is what we do. 
So let us do it for you. Are you ready? Bookmark virtualdollconvention.com. Meet me here. And when I say here, I mean online at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. I will be in a gold sequin dress. And I will be bringing to you everything that is going to happen. Trust me when I say you're going to love it. And there's going to be dolls. And there's going to be experiences and downloads and all these incredible things that, that is a melting pot of, of collectors and creators and artists that are coming together to make this event in a pretty package with a beautiful bow just for you. I can't wait. All right, share this video. Please, 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 please share this video. Put it, put it everywhere, in your groups, everywhere. And we're a team. You and I, you know, you're, you're my, you're my homie and we're going to go be homies together and we're going to go do this, all this stuff together. Tell your friends, help them. And when I, and when I say help them, it, it, they might have questions. And, and if you have attended the events before, you know what to say and you can help them. Get your Zooms together, get every single thing together, get your doll clubs together share share all of it together you know have watch parties do whatever you want do whatever you want to to make this the most meaningful fun event until our next one this is this is the event of the year until we release our next event okay i'm excited we'll see you very soon thank you for tuning in to my breaking news our breaking news of what is happening right now with elowen and the virtual doll convention and everything we have going on and I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye, everybody. <laughs>